Who said P dope, right? Bet, 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 bet. So you said um you uh got an entertainment company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's something that you started? Yeah, that's something I started, yeah. When you um what made you start start that? I mean, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, like I wanted to be more independent and more in control of what I'm doing and the direction that I'm going in. Right. So um I got myself, I got my artist, Dolo, you know what I'm saying, Dolo BML, just shot his video last night, mm-hmm. uh, Monastery and Lexington. So I guess, before we even go into that, right, because that's, that's definitely a major part of what you're doing in your career and your success and soon to come success. Before we get into that, let's just talk about your upbringing and where you where you from. You say you're from Liberty Heights. Yeah. Liberty Heights. So um, how long you was living around Liberty Heights or you grew up around Liberty Heights? I mean, I was born right there, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, had a, I had a wild upbringing, bro. Like, How was it? Like, it was wild. <laughs> shit was crazy. I man. mean, it's Baltimore, so I feel like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was, I had a lot of uh, anger issues as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got put out of school and shit like that. Like, fucking third grade, I got put out of all Baltimore City mm-hmm. curriculum shit, you know right. what I'm saying? So, uh, from there, we just started moving around. Just trying to get shit together. So did you ever get back into school? Yeah, I got back in. Like, sure. how far did you go? Uh, well, actually, I actually I wound up going to college. For real? Yeah. That's lit. What college you went to? I went to University of Baltimore. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's a good ass college. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? <laughs> nigga, that was been slow. Yeah. Just, you feel me? Nigga got anger issues. You, know you graduated? Saying? Yeah. That's dope. Congrats, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know. Nigga, that's major. <laughs> <laughs> but they said I wouldn't never be able to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They put me out of high school, all that shit, bro. I got put out of school about three, four times. Bro, I swear to God, um, real life, um, I got put out of five different elementary schools. Yeah. Dead ass. I got um I went to one middle school only because by the time I got to middle school I was tired of it. Well, I thought I was tired of it. Yeah. I got skipped. Like I got skipped in a six because I was behind two two grades. So I went to like Twilight School and shit. Yeah. But the high school, got put out of high school. But the college, got put out of two different colleges. Yeah. All for fighting. They give up on niggas so fast. Yeah, so it's like, I get it. When you say, I, I guess you like, nigga, I just nah, don't fight. Never be able, you know what I'm saying? So I always use that, that like, someone telling me what I can't do. Right. Like, that shit motivates me way more and than anything. somebody congratulating me. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Like, Facts. That's always been, like, my, my uh, rocket fuel, I guess. You know what I'm saying? No, no, that's true. So, like... What made you get into music in the first place then? Uh, I first, I wrote my first song, I think I was about nine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I always was into like poetry and spoken word and things like that. And uh, I, I remember watching Jay-Z, uh, Can't Not the Hustle. You know what I'm saying? I was watching his mannerisms and mm-hmm. shit like that. I'm like, yo, this nigga's too slick. Like, you feel me? Right. So I always kind of... Uh, Bottom myself after him as an artist, you know what I'm saying? So, how, how long have you been in the music industry, I guess? Um, well, I mean, I, I fell in love with music as a kid. I would say I've been really grinding seriously probably about four or five years. Yo, I get jealous of niggas like that. I ain't gonna lie, because, like, not, like, real jealous, but I be upset because I literally just got into the industry like that. Like, I've literally been, I've been hosting since 2014. Doing radio for like two years now, right? But so when people talk about these, these historic albums and artists like Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I can't remember it because I was too busy playing football. Yeah. I was just being a knucklehead for real, for real. So I ain't really listen to music. So it's like when people bring up the Jay Z's and Tupac's and Biggie's, I'm like, damn, I wish I could have enjoyed that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was always my escape though. Like I wasn't never really an athlete or nothing. Right. I think I'm five six, five seven. Like all my homeboys. Cause like, I ain't too too much yeah, taller. I'm five nine. All my niggas like six one, six T. I'm like, man, I'm not hooping with y'all niggas. Man, yeah, fuck y'all. Fuck yeah. I'm being in this motherfucking studio. You know what I mean? But I mean, that's good that you found something that early because a lot of niggas, especially where we come from, yeah, like they get into the streets, start yeah. selling drugs. I mean, I was in the street too. But I feel like all the time I keep on it. Juggling the both. That's the thing about rap niggas, right? Yeah. And like, I don't mean to generalize niggas, but it is what it is. Niggas rap niggas. <laughs> but that's the thing about like being in the industry so early. I think it kind of pulls you to the streets, though. Yeah, I mean, because like you gotta like a lot of people wanna. A lot of from my experience, a yeah. lot of the rappers like they wanna rap what they live about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like that kind of make them do it even more, as a in a sense. That's, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So it's like like when I was playing football. 
that was the last thing I wanted to do. Even as drug dealers, like back in my when I was young, they used to tell me, "Don't even do it. Continue oh, yeah. to play football." Yeah, right now, if I was a rapper, they probably be like, "Yeah, bro." Yeah, you yeah, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. That's what I feel like. Yeah, I think it's definitely um, a lot of pressure on the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? To uh, to stand out and shine because that's what we looking up to. We looking up to you, niggas who showing us the end game, but mm-hmm. they not showing you the process. Right. Of how to get there. Right. So a nigga just showing you like, boom, I'm in foreigns, my nigga. I'm in, you feel me? I got thirty thousand dollars on my neck. <laughs> got like twenty five yeah. on my wrist. So, like, so wild, a nigga, a nigga sitting there making noodles, like, damn, mm-hmm. how the fuck? Mm-hmm. You're not showing me the resources I need. You're not showing me the path. You're just showing me the end game. Right. So sometimes, you know, what I'm saying you get sold into the end game, but not necessarily the process. So how quick did you catch on to that though? It took me a long time to catch on to that, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I got older. I had to really learn from fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have any, um, I ain't really grow up with any mentors. Like, you know what I'm saying? Same. I ain't Damn, it might be a Baltimore thing. Like, we all, really all be the, in the trenches, bro. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? All, all the niggas I looked up to you was, you know what I'm saying, on some other shit. Like, right. He was on some other shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what <clears throat> this, did a particular event occur for you to get it, like, snap in your head? Like, all right, I get it. Like, I can't keep I mean, uh, shit, I was like, um, um, I think I was like 21. I got shot, I was 21. And um, I just remember laying in the fucking, laying in the hospital and like, everybody around me like, yo, you was the one. Mm-hmm. Like, just thought I was gonna be gone. I'm like, nah, I'm still the one, you feel me? Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Once I got out of that situation and, and dealt with that, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to put full effort behind what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, not so much talking about it and, or, or just saying what you could be. Like, I'm going to show you what the fuck I am. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, and putting putting my full effort behind that. You know what I'm saying? And when I started doing that, I started seeing a lot of doors open that weren't opening before. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, like, sometimes, man, like, I just wake up and I'm just like, listen, man. We gonna do X Y Z, and it makes no sense mm-hmm. because based on what we have, there's no reason we should be able to do that. Right. You see what I'm saying? Based on where we're at, necessarily, there's no reason we should be able to do that. Man, that shit click like real uh-huh. shit. You definitely blessed, my nigga. Like yeah. just to be able to go through that, have that testimony. Yeah. I, and I want to ask because you got it at 21, but before you got it, you had to go through what you went through. You yeah. Saying you might have had to get shot to really understand. Yeah. What do we tell our the ones that's coming up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's making music and they in the streets and things like that. It's like, you can't really tell them not to be in the street because that's all they know. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you the talent. Like, you the ticket yeah. in your hood. If anything happened to you, everybody, yeah. everything goes down. How do you get them to realize that before they uh, get shot? Before, yeah. I mean, hopefully you don't got to get shot to, to mm-hmm. see that. But I think it's, it's really a structural situation where the niggas in your hood got to be understanding as well that we got to get behind this person. Right. Even if it's not rapping, like, fuck, everybody want to yeah. be a rapper, fuck all that. Like, if it's a nigga with any type of idea or any type of dream, it's going to start at its immediate surroundings. Right. Because you're looking, you're not going to be 100% confident in something if you haven't seen it work yet. Right. So you're looking around you like, this nigga's going to fuck with this, this nigga's going to support this. And um, sometimes during that process, you can get lost on focusing on the people that aren't supporting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I always the tell them, and yeah, shit like that. I tell all my niggas, like, we ain't even gonna focus on the niggas that ain't fucking with it. We gonna feed quality to the niggas that is fucking with it. I fuck with that. And what happens eventually is that grows. You see what I'm saying? That grows. It's like cancer. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? The shit gotta grow. Exactly. So even if some people go negative and they can go positive. Yeah, a lot right. of people think cancer itself is only negative. Like yeah, yeah. it can be a positive thing too. Yeah, real shit. So it's like even if one nigga fuck with what you doing, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And he tell another nigga. He tell another nigga. But if you only focus on the ninety nine niggas who didn't fuck with what you was doing, that shit would have deteriorated you all the way. Right. You know what I'm saying? The and it's also it's also like a spit in the face to the person that is fucking with you. Like, yeah, because it's like nigga, I fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, like, like you nobody so, fuck with me. You put, I fuck with you. You nigga. put so much energy into <laughs> niggas that don't fuck with you. It's like, bro, like you got niggas. Even if it's like you said, one person, yeah. like my nigga, acknowledge them. Yo, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Like, even when we doing interviews, I tell people all the time for people that even come out, like y'all want to get interviewed by Jay Hill. 
that yeah. means something. Like, yeah. they can, like, they can go to anybody, boy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I definitely understand that. Yeah, like, you got to focus on your core audience. You know what right. I'm saying? Feed them and shit will fall in place. You know what I'm saying? So now we spoke about how you can wake up and be like, yo, we want to do X, Y, and Z. And yeah. it might not even make sense. Yeah. But don't you, do you think part of that, when you was learning, when you was going through what you was going through to, to learn where you at now, yeah. do you think that's the reason that they can trust you? Like, cause you didn't did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, wake up X, Y, Z, it don't make sense, but yo, you can trust me. Yeah. So I feel like, do you think, is there, I mean, of course, it's a reason for everything. But do you think people got to go through that just so they can have that trust? Or is it another way? Because I know I just want people to understand, like, the streets ain't the only way. There's other ways you can go around. So that's yes. what I'm trying to get yes, that message definitely. to see. How can somebody trust somebody that ain't go through it, I guess? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess the best answer to that would be... That's it a hard question. It ain't even trusting me. Yeah. It's the fact that I trust God. And okay. God not going to let me down. So if you trust in what I'm saying, you got to be trusting in that. So if you're moving with full faith, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm moving with faith. Like, Facts. it ain't even about... It ain't yeah. my plan. It's God. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Facts. This ain't even me. Nah, this, right. Me being right here right now, bro, I just drove past six, five, like, four accidents. Literally. Right. Like, it just took me, like, <laughs> around a whole other way. Mm-hmm. And I pop up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even get the email to come here and tell you until one. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, but it was meant for me to be right here. You nice see what I'm saying? Fun. Like... So, like, you just got to trust the process, like. That's true. But it's the street, so hard. The streets ain't the only way to eat. The streets is what niggas go to because it's easy. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't require any prerequisites. It doesn't require much uh, uncommon knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm-hmm. what niggas attract to. But, you know, it, it feeds niggas, you know what I'm saying? It pays the bills. Right. But I feel like if you're going to be in the streets, you definitely got to have that exit strategy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, part of being... And in this game is knowing when to cash, when to put in, and when to cash out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the niggas that don't know when to cash out is all the type of niggas we hear about on American Gangster and all mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas doing. Them niggas end up right. 70 years. Yeah, that, man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen niggas want to be gangster. Them listen. niggas end up right for real, though. Like, <laughs> Frank Lucas, he Thank snitched, man. <laughs> so it's like, nah, I get you. Um, yeah. But so let's go back to 21, right? Yeah. I know we keep, I don't want to keep living this, this image. But I'm you definitely blessed, you know what I'm saying? So that's about the 21. Yeah, yeah. Now you see that, yo, I'm not, like you said, I ain't gone. I'm still here. We're going to yeah. keep making, making it. From when, when you was laying in that bed, from what time, from then to up to now, when did you be like, yo, I want to make my own label? Um, well, since I was like a teenager, I always wanted to have ownership. Mm-hmm. Like we always was able to click up and make music and the creation process was always there, but we didn't necessarily know how to move this music or mm-hmm. how to navigate through the industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I actually, I actually lived down the street from uh, Reggie Reg. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, so DJ Reggie Reg. Yeah, Reggie OG. Reg. Yeah, OG. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We used to play football in his backyard and shit like that. We used to play football with Reggie Reg. Yeah. Oh, see, you, you up there, bro? See, I'm, that was my man. My I'm man. a young man. <laughs> yeah, that was my man. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like, he used to give us tips and things like that and, and here and there, but at the same time, he wasn't, like, you feel me? Like, we're not signed to Reggie Red. So, right. mm-hmm. whenever he can, he give us advice, but, you know, it's still get it, you know, get it on your own. You know? So, you, you think he was the one that placed that thought in your mind about, um, yo, you want to have ownership in, in, yeah. to your rights? He he, he gave us the, the principles of how to move, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And not just, oh, I can rap. So niggas owe me the world. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't owe you shit. Like, you feel me? That's fortunate to even be around somebody like that. I only say that because, like, especially during that time. Because during that time, all the artists was looking for deals. And we talking about 360 deals around that time. Yeah. Because that's their only way out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They ain't understand it. So for you to even be around yeah. Reggie Reg and him to explain that to you, that's fortunate in itself. It's definitely, it was, it was an amazing, looking back on it, you know what I'm right. saying? It was definitely amazing uh, situation. So what age did you, um, or what year did you create your own label? Um, shit, I mean, we've been on some mob shit for a while. Like, I can't even honestly remember. That's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so y'all been know. independent before independent was hot. Because this is a thing now. Yeah, this is, now it's like, I'm independent. Like, mm-hmm. niggas with real situations are independent. Right. You know and even saying? like, <laughs> and 
but it's funny because just like before we even get to independent, just this millennial age is about entrepreneurship too. Yeah. So like it kind of been a tr- well not been but it's just starting to be a trend. Okay, yeah. fucking nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Even though. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. A real nigga have a nine to five too. But now yeah. you see more people like I want to do my own thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think that rolled over into the people want to be independent. Yeah. And it's like you- it's, it's definitely um, because now it's easier to become a brand. Mm-hmm. Before it was social like, media. Yeah, social media. You know, wasn't what it is right now. So right. now it's easier to build a following and then. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, navigate with that following and mobilize that following to do the things you need them to do, whether it's rapping or modeling or whatever the hell it is. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I would definitely say don't um, don't uh, fall a victim of social media mm-hmm. because everything you see on social media is not Boy, what like, it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that 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 fucks it up too because like. That's probably one of the core reasons why people are not patient because they see everybody else shining on Instagram. Yeah. Like you said, like when you was coming up, you might see one nigga from the block had yeah, yeah, yeah. on his watch, but now you see everybody. Yeah, now it's like you want to be that. Yeah, and it's like you that shit that might be their friends, their homeboys. Yeah. Like, but it's because you can create to the people who don't know you. You can create whatever persona it is you're mm-hmm. trying to create. Right. The nigga who know you is looking like this nigga. Got my motherfucking watch on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, yeah, yo, like to the to the young dudes, man, like don't don't try to follow what niggas is doing. Like just trust your process, you know what I'm saying? Like build your brand up, build your shit up, do the research needed to be successful. So you think that's your like your main core motto or something that you wanna push? Yeah. Trust the process, no. Trust the process. So the, the name, um, cause I, I want to get back into the the label. I, am I saying it right? Is it is a label, right? Oh uh, yeah, you call it. Label. What's the name of it? High Society E N T. High and Society. We, uh, yeah. Why High Parker. Society? Uh, well, one, I get high a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we have a space to do it right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, it's all about um, an elevated state of mind. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? An elevated state of being. Bro, that what people don't understand is. Whatever you like to do, bro, you can find some type of positive message behind it. Yeah. Like, even, like you get what I'm saying, how you said, I get high, like, that might yeah. be the truth, like, man, fuck it, high society, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you see how you can also change it, like, everything is about elevation. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, elevation. people, I wish people could understand that, like, yeah. no matter what the the root of it is, you can always find a positive flip. Yeah. Like, I fuck I mean, with I that. I mean, I get high and I come up with creative shit. I fuck with that. That's what I do. Nah, I fuck with that. Real shit. I fuck with that. You so you talk about your team. You say you got a uh, like a creative director. Yeah, that's my artist. creative director. That's my man. That's my partner. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Malcolm, um, FWTK. Mm-hmm. We've been building together for about three, four years now. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is going to be our third project working together that's mm-hmm. coming up. Um, I don't want to let the cat out the bag on that too heavy. No, no, no. You give yeah. us some type of exclusive fuck you know what I'm saying? Something. Uh, it, it's going to be that. No, I feel it, you. It's going to change. Sound. What about the video you shot yesterday? You said. Oh yeah, the video we just shot. That's gonna be on that project. This video is uh for Dolo. Okay. That we just shot with man Dolo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Dolo. We're gonna get him on here real soon. Facts, facts, facts. Uh, facts. We just shot that. We shot that around the way. Um, Monastery Lexington. And uh, my man, man, this shit was crazy. Oh my man, this nigga, nigga Dolo. We shoot the video. Boom! I'm controlling everything. Whatever. I see this nigga walk off. Where the fuck this nigga going? Uh, out the video? Like, he's walk off, right? This nigga spin back around the corner with a 40-foot fucking ladder. What the fuck? You know fuck? what I'm saying? Like, yo, this nigga funny as shit. This nigga spin the bin with a 40-foot ladder. We fucking pick the ladder. Take, like, four niggas to pick the ladder up. Shit, like a 700-pound ladder, my nigga. Right. Like, you know everybody all fucked up and shit. Try to pick up a ladder, my nigga. Like, picture this. Like, we fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's a 700-fucking-pound ladder. This nigga came out the corner with it. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? This nigga climb up. Hop on top of the uh, corner store, top of the shit. I'm like, this nigga funny as shit, man. And I always ask people, like, when we, like, sum it up, what's the purpose of you even coming to, like, a, a, a influencer like Jay Hill for this interview? Like, what's your purpose? Man, my purpose is to have more people understand what I'm about to do. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, I think and a lot of people are sleeping. And we're about to bring something extremely powerful. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, <clears throat> what we're doing is deeper than music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just do music. 
like I rap or whatever, I write songs. That's cool. A lot of people know me for that. But we also do fashion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I have my clothing line is in a couple stores around Baltimore. What's the name of Pittsburgh. it? Uh, we haven't quite given it a name. We just kept it under high society. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because we, we're not necessarily doing one thing, like let's say how Ralph Lauren Polo would be. Right. We're more so just giving you merchandise. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So we're giving you a variety of t-shirts, varieties of hoodies, varieties of like joggers, different things. So what stores are creating in the city? Like if I uh, the main to store is Angel Park. Angel Park Boutique is down, um, I believe it's Lishiana Street. Like what, what part of town is it? That's uh, shit. I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah, so, I you got a cop son. It's, I'm uh, to it's on the Lishiana Street. Okay. That's uh down, <laughs> down by uh, the fucking water. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, the harbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellas Point. Fellas Point. All right, good, good. Fellas Point. Shout out to Avery, the man, man behind yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. I told you I get high, bro. Like, it's, it's all good. Like, every point. interview I do. How the hell you know that? <laughs> every. <laughs> Hey, interview, I do, I go blank for a second. Like, nigga, I got chill. It's all good. But look, it's down there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga down there, my nigga Jay at Angel Park. They got a lot of exclusive stuff that's um, that, that's on fire right now, you know what I'm saying? And is there anything else you, you want the people to know? Um, Our next thing we're going to do, we plan on kind of leaning more into the artistic side of things. Like what, though? Creative director. Uh, we're, we're, right now, we're about to put together a small um, art exhibit. That's lit, it's bro. That's different. I'm, yeah. I'm fucking with the movement. Like, yeah, you're about to sign me. You yeah. feel me? Like, I'm fucking with the movement. We got room. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a hip-hop art combination exhibit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a date for that? We don't have a date yet, but it's coming. We're, nah, we're putting it in the works right now. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to it, bro. Like, yeah. I fuck with it, bro. I appreciate you coming up. 